The RX 500 series official specs have been leaked and we're getting a nice surprise other than a small boost in performance, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. I asked you on Twitter if you wanted to see an overview of the 1400 and 1500X reviews or the RX 500 series specs, and while it was close, the vote was for the Radeon info. So that's what we're talking about today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter to help decide on other future videos. I'm at GamerMeld. For those who wanted to see Ryzen, don't worry, I should have that video up tomorrow, and I plan on having the Ryzen motherboard guide up by Sunday. Make sure you're subscribed to keep up with that. So I know many of you want to see Vega, and trust me, I'm right there with you, but it's rumored to release sometime in May, or possibly June, it'll probably be officially announced at Computex. Unfortunately though, some people are getting a little confused about the 500 series cards. These are not Vega, just please know that, these are AMD's mid-range GPUs. Okay, originally founded by Jazaku Tech and reported by Video Cards, a video from an RX 500 event was leaked. The video has been taken down, and I don't want to push things the company just flat out doesn't want out there, but the screenshots are already there, so I figured I'd at least discuss some of them. Either way, it would appear there's going to be an RX 580, 570, 560, as well as 550. The somewhat funny part is that they felt the need to compare them to the 300 series cards to get their performance boost. I get why, but there's just no need to try and inflate the numbers to make it seem the cards are bigger of a boost than they really are. Oh well, though. I'm actually going to discuss it comparatively to the 400 series. So let's get started. The 580 has a base clock of 1257 MHz and a boost of 1340 MHz. Comparing that to the 480's boost clock of 1266, we're looking at a difference of 74 MHz. While it only shows an 8GB variant, we know from some other leaks there should be both 4 and 8GB models, and just like the 570, the compute units remains the same. Speaking of the RX 570, the card comes with a base clock of 1168 MHz and boost of 1244. Unlike the 580, pointing to other leaks and not these, the 570 should get a boost in memory clock from 6600 to 7000 MHz. Next up on the list is the 560. It comes in a good bit better than the 460 with 16 compute units instead of 14. It's also rumored to have 64 TMUs to the 460's 56, and clocks in at a base of 1175 MHz and a boost of 1257, versus the 460's 1090 and a boost of 1200 which obviously puts the 560 at a difference of 57 megahertz when boosted. Next is the 550, which doesn't really seem to replace anything, but comes with eight compute units, and the slide only shows the boost clock, which is 1183 megahertz, and it looks to come in a two gigabyte model. The last bit of information, and probably the coolest if you ask me, and you may have actually already noticed it by now, but it has a brand new reference cooler. Gone is the almost infamously bad stock cooler of the older cards, and in comes a dual fan setup. It really reminds me of recent XFX cards, to be honest. It also makes a reference to Radeon Chill, which isn't new, but in the newer graphic, it's showing 21% cooler, which is almost certainly still comparing them to the 300 series, but in what I believe is the 400 series, an older graphic states a 13% difference. This is the unfortunate side effect of comparing the 500 cards to the 300 series. It gets confusing, but that would mean it keeps the card 8% cooler than the 400 series. Now, obviously these are just ranges and vary greatly on 100 factors, but still not bad. Lastly, it states a third gen 14 nanometer FinFET design, which does seem to point to a more efficient node. So while that ends the news segment of the video, I wanted to thank everyone for the feedback on daily versus every other day videos. What I'm mostly thinking about is beginning Monday, I'll do a news video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then Saturday will be something like a review or possibly news depending on what's going on. I also want to do the updates on tech and gaming deals that we kind of talked about in a couple videos back, but I'm not sure if I'll do a video or possibly a blog post, which actually could be great because I should have time to keep GamerMail.com updated with my videos as well as updates and possibly even more news because I've definitely been neglecting it lately. I'll probably also throw in a video here and there, but make no mistake, just because I don't have a video some days doesn't mean I'm not working. I want to bring a very high level of professionalism to GamerMeld's videos, and will consistently be making them better and better as time goes on. The future for GamerMeld is bright, so definitely make sure to subscribe for future content. And don't forget about the giveaway, just click the link in the description and subscribe. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.